hear about the incident that happened here last night? Yeah, I saw that on the... Saw that on the news, obviously read about it. Yeah. When something like that happens at a place, I assume that you come here every day, Monday through Friday? Yeah, I'm here like a little after 5 in the morning. Okay. A little after 5 in the morning, you come yeah. back at about this time every day? Yeah. Uh, when something like that happens, how, how does that affect you? I'm just more alert, I guess, because I've been riding so long. You mm -hmm. just try and keep aware of what's going on around what, you. What things, as a long-time rider, what, what kind of tips can you give other people who might not be as, as veteran a rider as you? What, what, what things can people do to make themselves a little more safe when they ride the train? Just hold on to your packages and your purses and your cell phones, because I've heard people even getting their cell phone out and looking at when they're on the train. The one lady was telling me that these two guys, she could tell they were kind of watching her, and as they got off the train, they grabbed her phone out of her hand and mm -hmm. went running. But do you feel safe when you ride the train? Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. When you hear about incidents that happen at, like the one that happened at this station last night, what are your thoughts? They can happen anywhere to me. I mean, that kind of thing, uh, yeah, it's terrible that it happens on the Metrolink. But again, people get robbed and shootings everywhere. So it's just really an incident that you don't want to happen. But I don't think there's been in a year's time 10 incidents, if that many, mm -hmm. maybe more, but not not that I know of, and that's a pretty good record, I think. So you have no you have no problem getting getting on this train at any any time, day or night. I've never had a problem, and I don't uh, even think about getting on. You know, a problem getting on. 